Hey guys, what is up? Red Pen Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys and building an RTX 3080 rig. Well, not full on, but just getting started. I don't have, you know, six RTX 3080s. I only have three right now, okay? So I'm gonna be putting in a Gigabyte Gaming OC 3080 and a EVGA XC3 RTX 3080 and then I have a MSI Ventus RTX 3080 and I'm going to be putting it on a AAA wave frame, the Sluice 8 GPU frame. Okay, and I'll show you guys all the other parts here and then we'll just begin right away on building it. I I'm really excited to get this going. So let me start off with the power supply as this is the most important thing for powering the RTX 3080s. So I am wanting to put three of the 3080s on a single 1200 watt power supply. No more, no less. That's as far as I wanna go in terms of capacity because just in case, you know, maybe the overclocks or undervolts or whatever decide to go back to stock, then each of these RTX 3080s could possibly start mining at its full TDP, which I believe is 320 watts. Okay, so what's 320 watts times three? So that's roughly about 1,000 watts, okay? So we should have enough capacity for just three RTX 3080s, so that should technically go up to about 1,000 watts if the undervolts and overclocks decide to uh, kick out. So this should be good for those three. And then in the future, when I want to add a another like three RTX 3080s and I only I only just want to go up to six on this eight GPU frame because of spacing I, I, I do kind of want to space out the GPUs on this frame and when I do that I am going to take the other 1200 watt power supply that I have on this rig over here uh, these are the six by five eighty four gig cards which I'm gonna sell really soon if anyone in Canada wants to buy these please let me know down below I'll sell it for maybe less than one ethereum let me know in the comments or just give me an email if you guys want to buy these 580 MSI 4 gig cards, okay? And uh, yeah, I'm going to move this power supply over to this rig once it's all done and uh, I have three more RTX 3080s and I'm hoping to get different versions, okay? So you guys can see I do have three different RTX 3080 brands and the next one I want to get is like the Asus Tough, uh, the Zotac Trinity and uh, maybe like a nicer one, like an EVGA for the win, or the Asus Strix. I think there are other RTX 3080 models out there, but yeah, eventually I will build a full RTX rig. Okay, now going along, just to show you guys, I also have the motherboard. This is a Gigabyte B250 FinTech motherboard, and this has 12 PCIe, but we are only gonna utilize just six. You guys may remember this board from my 12 by P104 rig, and yeah, it worked out really well. Okay, and then I have, uh, you know, a couple fans. I have some fan splits just in case uh, the motherboard doesn't have enough for the fan three pins okay and then of course I have GPU risers.com risers which we're gonna utilize later of course with the GPUs and finally we have a 120 gig SSD which we're gonna utilize Hive OS and uh, I was hoping to do Windows with this rig but make it easier for me and later on in this video I'll show you guys what it's doing in hash rate and stuff okay let's get this built all right so first thing I need to do is uh, I just need to clear out this whole area here and then build this frame you guys may see some 2000 watt power supplies here I will have another video testing them out I don't really want to use them on my RTX 3080s yet I am gonna test them out on like some older Polaris GPUs just to make sure these are okay before I test them on more expensive GPUs but yeah I have six of them here so stay tuned for that video okay so let's just uh, build this frame guys and I'll do it really quick here in three two one all right the AAA wave the sluice 8 GPU frame is done look at this thing it's actually really easy to make versus like a Veta frame but uh, yeah you guys can see looks pretty good and uh, now I need to put in the motherboard. So let's do that next. We're gonna put in the Gigabyte motherboard, uh, the B250 FinTech, okay? So you guys will see this in there in three, two, one. Okay, and there we go. The motherboard is in, the CPU and RAM is also in there already. Okay, now I wanna put in the power supply. So I have an EVGA 1200 watt P2. I guess it's a good time to show you guys just what I'm gonna do in terms of power for powering each of the uh, GPUs. So this is a good time to explain uh, what I'm gonna do. So let's just see here. Okay, so this EVGA P2 has six PCIe plugs. Uh, it's on this side here. I'm gonna be utilizing six here. And what I'm gonna do, just to be safe, I'm gonna be utilizing two PCIe 
strands from the power supply into each of the RTX 3080s, okay? So there's six ports here, so I'm going to be using uh, two for one, a two for another one, and two for another RTX 3080. And on one of them for each of the 3080s, I'm probably going to have to split it because each of the PCIe risers, all right, the PCIe riser that goes underneath the GPU is going to be utilizing PCIe. Okay, so I'll show that later in a sec here, all right? So let me just put the power supply in. Three, two, one. Okay, the power supply is in. I also put in the SSD and all of the necessary power cables, the SATA power cable and the SATA into the motherboard. And then I also have all of the PCIe cables plugged in. And uh, I have them decently cable managed, but just to clarify for you guys so that you understand uh, what I'm gonna be doing here is I have two different strands going into the power supply. Okay, and each of these two strands are going to be for one RTX 3080. Okay, so I have another two strands here, and then I have another two strands here, so that we have enough safe power delivery for each RTX 3080. These cards I want to baby a lot, so I, I want to make sure I have enough power capacity uh, for each of the GPUs. Okay, so yeah, looks like I will have to use one splitter on one of the strands, okay, so that you guys understand here, I'm using one splitter for one strand, so that one will go into one of the eight pins on the GPU, and the other one will go into the uh, mining riser all right the GP riser so and the reason why I'm doing that is because if you guys can see here there's already a daisy chain off of these single strands here that go into the power supply and you guys can see here I have them Valco strapped on here just to cable manage it so we're not going to be using these because they're just too short to go to the PCIe riser all right so yeah that's why I have to use another splitter in order to have the length go far enough into the PCIe riser okay but I'll show you guys that in a sec okay what else do I have to put in. All right, I think the last thing I need to do now is the fans and then I can put in the GPUs. All right, so let's do the fans real quick and then I'll put in the GPUs. Here we go. All right, so I realized <laughs> that I don't have uh, six AAA wave fans. I actually need two more, which I don't have, so I will figure that out later. But I'm okay with just the four 120 millimeter fans for now. Uh, you guys can see I have it decently cable managed. And I'm using these Molex to three pin fan connectors. I'll have it linked down below so you guys can know what I'm talking about. And uh, yeah, they're just going in powered by Molex into the power supply just for the fans. I don't have any of them being powered by the motherboard. Okay, you guys probably wanna see the GPUs going in. So let's do that in real time here. I have the three GPUs. You guys know which ones I have here. So I'm going to put the hottest GPU, I would say, outside of the case. So I'm gonna say this one is gonna go over here. And yeah, I'm gonna have it on this side. So I would say the coldest air is gonna be coming from, from this direction. I'm actually gonna have this rig flipped and the fans are gonna be blowing out this way in my crypto mining basement here. Okay, then the next GPU I'm gonna put in is, uh, I think the Ventus one. I think this is the next hottest one. And that's gonna go right next to the Gigabyte. Okay, so I'm kinda worried about the spacing, but you know what, I think that's okay. We're gonna see how much hash rate and if these are gonna thermal throttle. They technically shouldn't. Uh, but we will see later on in this video when I get them hashing in Hive OS. Okay, so there we go. That's how I'm gonna have the first three placed and eventually, guys, I'll keep adding on uh, RTX 3080s <laughs> as they come. I do have some other ones on order. Okay, all right guys, so now let me plug in all of the required power cables and then uh, I'll show you the end result. So give me a sec. Okay, actually before I put in all the power cables and uh, the risers as well, I already have the risers plugged into the GPUs as you guys can see, but I don't have the power in because I wanna make sure the motherboard, power supply and the SSD, you know, all that works first. So I already have HiveOS already preloaded onto the SSD. So I just wanna turn on the machine first just to make sure it loads into HiveOS, all right? So uh, let's do that first. And uh, we're gonna see what the power consumption is of this whole thing uh, when it comes back on. Okay, so it doesn't look like it has the auto AC power on, so we're just gonna do short the pins, use the screwdriver, and it looks like it turned on. And it looks like this fan 
uh, is not going. All right, so I'm gonna have to fix that. So good thing we're testing this. Okay, so let me just see if it actually goes into HiveOS. Give me one sec. Okay, yeah, it looks like it worked. It showed up in HiveOS. You guys can see the motherboard there, uh, the processor and the SSD. Uh, so there's no GPUs obviously because I haven't plugged in the power and no flight sheet or anything. So first thing I'm gonna do first is update to the latest HiveOS version. Uh, so I'm just gonna hit both of these, force upgrade, reboot after complete, hit upgrade, and uh, make sure it goes through. And then we're gonna have to do another thing as well, which is to update the NVIDIA driver. So it's right now at 450.66 on the latest HiveOS version on their website. So it looks like I'll have to update this to version 455. And uh, we'll do that in a second. We're gonna go to the HiveOS shell start uh, after this is done updating. So give me one sec. Okay, the rig is back up. Looks like it uh, updated successfully. We're just gonna go to the Hive shell start. And uh, I already have that going here and it's gonna come up here in a second. Then we will be able to essentially remote into it. And there we go, we're gonna click on this button and it's gonna go into the machine and we're gonna type in one command. So we're gonna type in NVIDIA driver update and we're gonna do 455 and hit enter. And there we go, it should start updating the driver on HiveOS here. So I'm gonna let this go and then we're gonna restart and verify it did it. Okay, yeah, looks like the driver installed successfully, version 455. Okay, so let's plug in the GPUs. Okay, so I figured out the fan that was not turning on. It was just simply unplugged in the mess of wires here. Tried to do the best cable management I could. All right, my friends, the power is in. All the power cables for the RTX 3080s are in. So you guys can see I have a splittered one from the power supply. Uh, but again, we have two strands, two full strands coming from the 1200 watt power supply uh, into each RTX 3080. So it should definitely be enough power and we should have enough capacity in case the overclocks decide to, you know, go back to stock. But HiveOS is usually pretty good with that. Okay, so let's turn it on and uh, let's just make sure we can see it in HiveOS and uh, I realized I don't have a uh, external monitor that has DVI. I forgot the cable at my crypto mining basement so I can't figure out if 4G decoding and all those BIOS settings are enabled but I think they are from my previous uh, previous build with this motherboard. All right, so let's see and uh, here you guys can see, let's turn it on with the screwdriver, three, two, one. Okay, power consumption idle, or just booting up is 165 watts. Okay, all the GPUs look like they're on. The MSI Ventus doesn't have RGB, but these other two do, the EVGA and Gigabyte. The GP risers are showing the correct LEDs, so that means the GPUs are on. All right, so let's go to HiveOS. Okay, success, HiveOS shows the three RTX 3080s. You guys can see there, we got micron memory for each of the GPUs. And it looks like HiveOS is able to differentiate which brand, GPU 0, 1, and 2. So it looks like, yeah, the MSI is on the first one, Gigabyte's the second one, and EVGA is the third one. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, so let me just put in my flight sheet, and uh, actually we can do the overclocks now. And uh, let me just see, this is actually, uh, I forgot the numbers we're gonna do here. We're gonna just do, I don't know, minus 200 core. Mem clock, let's do 2400. So I believe this would equate to about 1200 in Windows. Fan, we're gonna do 100 for now. I just wanna, or no, actually let's do 80. Let's just see if they'll thermal throttle. Power limit, we're gonna do 225, I think, for each one. And uh, let's just see, let's save this, and uh, then I'll add the flight sheet. So then we'll see what the hash rate is, guys. Be right back. Okay, straight off the bat, the flight sheet's in. We're getting 98.5, 98.6 mega hash on each of the RTX 3080s at these overclocks here. So, wow, that's really good. I'm just gonna hit the refresh button here. And uh, let's see, we're, of course we're mining Ethereum. Oh, actually, no, we're at 99 now. Almost 100 mega hash. Okay, so it looks like it's just booting up 
and it says we're taking about 675 watts in the software. Uh, let's go to the kilowatt. 788 watts for 300 mega hash, oh, almost 300 mega hash, but that is crazy. Let me just see how the heat is doing. Yeah, I definitely feel a lot of heat coming from the Gigabyte one, but from the MSI and EVGA, these cards actually do pretty cool for some reason. I'm not sure why. The GPU shrouds on these are just way better than the, uh, the Gigabyte. All right, so uh, I'm gonna let this go for about an hour and we'll see if these are essentially gonna, you know, thermal throttle or get less mega hash. We should technically be fine, but I'm really happy about this. So we'll be right back. Okay, so it's been about almost four hours uptime. It's actually been thermal throttling. I believe the Gigabyte card is thermal throttling right now. And I have been trying to play around with the overclocks and undervolts, uh, but you can see right now, yeah, the MSI is getting almost 100 mega hash, so that one's good. The EVGA XC3 is getting about 98, 97 mega hash. So it looks like that one's kind of been going down. I may need to maybe just boost the power or maybe boost up the memory to get a little bit more mega hash, but looks like the Gigabyte one is hovering around 94 mega hash right now. Actually, let me just refresh it. It may go a little bit higher and no, it's at 94. And also it looks like it's been like throttling itself in terms of the power or the voltage regulation or something. It's going down and you guys can see my overclocks here. I have been giving the MSI a little bit more juice as well, like five more watts. I did try giving more juice to the Gigabyte, but it looks like it's still kind of throttling. So it looks like potentially having the Gigabyte gigabyte on a open air rig with other like GPUs it is kind of throttling right now but I didn't have this issue in Windows so maybe I will have to try this rig on Windows and see if it fares any better but generally it is mining pretty well it's like averaging like 292 mega hash for the whole rig and uh, at the wall yeah we are at about like 780 watts at the wall let's just go there right now yeah, about 783, 87, 82 watts. And I guess I have to factor in the fans as well. So I'm guessing these fans, which they are about, uh, I think, almost 80 to 99 CFM. I'm not sure how much amps they're using, but I'm guessing around 40 or 50 watts for the, just the fans alone. So yeah, you guys can do the math there. But anyways, guys, I think that's it. I will have another video troubleshooting more of this rig. I'm surprised that the Gigabyte is kind of throttling, but maybe it's a Linux thing. I may have to try it in Windows. So that, that'll be for another video. All right, so let me know your guys' thoughts down below of my uh, RTX 3080 rig. I'm, I'm just starting it, and uh, I guess I need to wait for some more RTX 3080s uh, to populate on this side and I'm I'm waiting just like the rest of you guys. Okay, so anyways my friends I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one and peace out